status report? Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. <clears throat> Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. If you're looking for ammunition, it's funny in New Vegas, people Dr. Tegan might have were really room. upset about uh, how the Brotherhood of Steel was, not realizing that the fall at Three Brotherhood was a uh, was an abomination. And our first action of the Brotherhood is to uh, snoop in uh, Elder Maxon's terminal. Which he's graciously left unlocked. this. We found them all. And Paladin Brandis had lost his mind. See, here we go fusion plant we pulled from that aircraft carrier wreckage, i.e. the largest city in the capital wasteland. Now is that a dick move or what? It's not as bad as detonating the megaton bomb, but it's up there. They destroyed the city. Yes, Proctor Ingram, she is, uh, I believe she's paralyzed from the waist down. Brotherhood will go to war with anyone. Technology, though they one one kind of oddity is they haven't come into con like real conflict with the the she in California, but they were in con they were in conflict with Mr. House from the start, and he wasn't using his technology to destroy anything. This technology wasn't a threat to humanity.
they say that in this terminal entry, but one of their missions they send you off on, one of the Brotherhood's Radiant Quest is, uh, to... Is this worth anything? This world of Orphan is very confusing. To acquire food from, uh, the settlement. Meaning... Raid and, uh... Steel. Convince them to, uh... I'll administer your give it for their protection. You've checked in with Dan's, an elder maxim. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxim sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxim took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now. I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Commonwealth looks bad. You should see the capital wasteland. Proctor Teagan's looking for folks to procure supplies from local farms. You should talk to him. Procure supplies. Hi. Never did understand how you folks ate inside those big tin cans. I've served on this vessel for years. It's I used to be a field home. scribe. Deathclaw snapping my femur like a twig put an end to that. Is that a Skyrim reference there? A subtle one? Excuse me, Captain Cade. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? No. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? L let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. 
Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Huh? I guess he would, uh... Is that a super mutant and a ghoul? He's implying? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? I suppose so. Good enough. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. I'm going to take my armor off for this. I need some supplies, Doctor. Scribes have been stocking us up. Help yourself. Let's see what he's got here. sell fusion cores, but uh, I hoard them. Got a few missiles. Medical report, night captain. Aid reported. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover Something the synths that appear yourself. completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures Please for these state the nature of your medical emergency. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Foreshadowing. I think the uh, Enclave was a bit more technologically advanced. Jackson does care about his troops here, though. You can see wanting to treat uh, shell shock is a legitimate illness. You 
notice, look at this. Spell his name wrong here. And all these, uh, from. Insomnia, migraines. No, she's not paralyzed. She lost her legs. the last question. Remember the uh, quest in uh, New Vegas for the uh, Tom Looking Franklin. for medical assistance, soldier? Hey there. I don't know about Scribe Naraya. I think she loves her little zoo a bit too much. Little kitty. Dr. Ah, Quinlan. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. There are other scribes within the Brotherhood that consider fictional material essential. But I refuse to allow them aboard this vessel. No, oh, I'm since it's obvious that you are that I was expecting. Would you mind telling me why you're here? That's uh He'd throw away Hemingway. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics, if it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. 
And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. There's no dogs on the uh, parade one, so gotta wonder. The rise of Elder Maxon. So here we have the events after Fallout 3, after the uh, Enclave were defeated at the Air Force Base. a raider or a super mutant I think she was just probably shot in the back that's what I gotta think it sucks but that's probably how it went down and where was the lone wanderer Death Claw at 13. And the victory over Super Mutants at 15. Well, that's bad news. That it reached the Elders on the West Coast. That means either the NCR made peace with them, or hasn't found and destroyed them yet. That's too bad for the uh, for the new world. There we have it. The events since Fallout 3. The rise of Maxon. The return of the Brotherhood of Steel to its original mission. It did contain a lot of that stuff, but we've already been there. I haven't been to Vault 75 yet. And I think that's the evilest of all the vaults. So we'll see when we get there. 
Been there. Took the sentry bot, self-destructed it, got our first two fusion cores. Been there as well. And we have not been here yet. We need to go here for a uh, Tomatron. Construction efforts. Rebuilding Liberty Prime. Please, finish your introductions by all means. But I do hope you'll consider assisting. There, try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. Maxim might appear compassionate. Thanks, but I brother. Sure I owe you. The institute Ingram? Faces so, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Is it too soon to ask about her injury? You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Most people in your condition would have given up. Can I hear your story? Sure. What the hell? I was fighting with the brother of the capitalist. <laughs> worked at a staging area for the power armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. That's quite a drop. The enemy had no way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the vertebrates. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke. Sheared most of the cliff right off and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. It's a miracle you survived. Nope, just simple engineering. My power armor absorbed most of the impact. And I wouldn't call having both of your legs crushed surviving. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. One's Bay 3. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off of the Prince. Just claim only above it and then leave it here for now. It's easy to get dancing through. Skin it in and out of power armor. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. 
Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That does seem a little weird, like kind of like a Spectre in Mass Effect having to buy their weaponry. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Sounds a lot like what the raiders want us to do in uh, Nuka World. Hey. Need something? What do you want? Your thoughts? If we want to win the people's hearts and minds, we have to spread the word, the Brotherhood, across the Commonwealth. That's all for now. Very well. Let's see if he'll sell me anything yet. Or actually, I need to go through the, uh, the laboratory. What can I get for you today? I'm looking for some firepower. All of my weapons are mission ready. God, I'm so broke all the time. So that ammo just doesn't, you don't find it often enough, so you gotta buy it whenever you can. I'm gonna sell a few fusion cells. some uh, plasma to uh, round it out. Just fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. Hey. What do you want? Proctor. Can I help you with anything? Set me up. Be my guest.
two in the head and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Feel like a a meth head that taking copper wiring out of everything. But Maxim thinks they need to train under fire. I don't like that either. That's one of the sad things. If you side against the Brotherhood. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time. Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Several children get killed. See if dance has a problem with uh, having a beer. No, he's okay with it. That's his self-service, sister. You take what you need. Hey! With the Pridwin in town, the Institute doesn't have a chance. Hopefully the next recovery team will bring back some decent supplies. Been having to get real creative lately. Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just, what if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything the holding together. The Trust me. You they hide in plain good. sight. Uh, firing. All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. And you notice a lot of these uh, NPCs Thanks. in here are voiced by uh, Ashley from uh, Mass Effect. of steel they have the uh, they have the equivalent of the internet back something that's long overdue setting up re-establishing the uh, telephone network and everything Instead of just radio communication. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. Where is the science lab? Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of their Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Meyer Lurk scat off my boots. 
game holotape in here, doesn't it? Brotherhood uh, night went up to uh, Trinity Tower after we uh, cleared it out. Take ammo for foot lockers, but don't lay in their bed. I'm looking for. I'm looking for Naraya. Maybe it's in another section of the ship. I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot and leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. Excuse me. Greetings, Knight. If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. That was my personal personal log entry 142. I can sum up living on the Pridwin in four words. I miss field assignments. Don't get me wrong, the research we're doing is exciting stuff. But life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse. The soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants seem scholarly. I'm gonna speak to Proctor Quinlan. Field scribes cannot have it this bad. That's it.
Nice. So, you're the new knight I heard about. Glad to have you on the team. Can you tell Kells if he wants things fixed, he needs to keep the damn ship steady? Well, power armor does have a. It's got air conditioning. Would be pretty hot in there. Summer day, power armor. A lot of people are mad with the uh, the science team here. Does it make sense that uh, breaking a uh, weapon down magically lowers the weight of the weapon? Welcome aboard, no, sister. To worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. You're concerned you. Hi. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Excuse me. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code? The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see. The ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. I'm sold. If you're looking for someone to help, you can sign me up. I appreciate the offer, but unfortunately, I've hit a stumbling block. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. So now we've got, uh, two things that we gather from, it, like, uh, every five or six kills, and every file cabinet's gonna have a technical document in it now. No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate your confidence in my abilities, sister. 
I've modified your Pip Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. The ends justify the means when it comes to freeing the Commonwealth. Heads up. All right. And what is taking up so much weight here? I don't get it. If I were the Institute, I would just make a, you know, a synth into a bomb and have them take the corpse up to the grid window, set it off. about me. She entered that pretty quick. Have you collected any blood samples? Probably gonna hinder their uh, heads up. Efforts. Not now, ma'am. There's science to be done. Grab that. Roger that. Taking orders from me. I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar. Get that. In his face Affirmative. One on one with a death claw. Take the microscope. Pick that up. Got it. Take that. Grab that. I'm on it. Get that. No problem. Well, I guess we can't. You're take an inspiration that one. to us all, Knight. To us, bro. And we'll let him Never forget, him. you are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in enemy territory now. Your vigilance could mean the difference between life and death. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Good. Ad Victorium, Squires. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Dismissed. Squire, Maxon said we're the future of the Brotherhood, so it's important for us to learn as much as we can. Excuse me. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, sister. Okay, I think that's everywhere. We've explored. I think it's time to. Get our mission now. Oh god. Mole rat on a stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. 